The first program I'd like to look at is how to count an assembly. As I like to say, only engineers get excited when a light blinks. Uh, light blinking is actually a big deal. It means the compiler compiles your code, you download it to the processor, the processor is running. So we want to do that. We want to make a light blink. To start, go to Bison Academy. This will get some of the programs you need. If you go into 376 Embedded Systems, this has the lecture notes, some videos like this one, uh, sample code, homework throughout the semester. Let's start with the first program, count.asm. This is a simple program that just simply counts on port C really, really fast. You get this to the processor, copy this program, control C, go over to MPLAB. This is what we had from before. I'll do a project, project wizard, and create a program count. Assembly toolset. I'll create the new project in my assembly director directory called count. And again, do a file new, paste what I just copied, and save it as count.asm. So this is the program, what it does, again as the header telling us to pick 18F4620, starting from 800, clear port C, right make port C output, clear port C starting from 0, everybody binary, now increment port C by 1, put the result in port C, repeat. This is going to count really, really fast on port C. I'll also again change the default to decimal, so going to project, build options, Project, under assembly, change everything to decimal. If I do build, F10, and again, I forgot to include the file. Let's do add file, count, .asm. Try that again. I just created a program. If I want to download that to the processor, I'll go to Hyperterminal, hit Reset, and you see the reset message. Hit Return before it gets to zero, and I just cleared out the old program. Do Transfer, Send Text File, star dot hex. The search is for all hex files in there, and what I just created is count.hex. If you're not certain, you can sit there and look at the time. This was created today. Uh, about 30 seconds ago, so there's the right file. Open it, and that just downloaded the code. On the processor, you can now see on port C, it looks like all the lights are on. Actually, if you look on the oscilloscope, these are all blinking. That's counting really, really fast. If you look at port C pin 0 on the oscilloscope, it is uh, 300 nanoseconds high, 300 nanoseconds low. What that corresponds to is in your code right here. Each instruction takes one clock. Go to's take two clocks. So this takes one, two clocks, plus one for go to, three clocks to execute. This loop right here takes 300 nanoseconds, and that's what you see on the oscilloscope. This last bit is on for 300 nanoseconds, off for 300 nanoseconds. Uh, that's kind of fast. That's about 1.6 megahertz square wave. If I want to slow it down, I need to throw in a weight loop. To add a weight loop, let's go back to Bison Academy and take the next one. Here's count abcd.asm. And what's this do? Okay, this creates a 32-bit counter. Uh, the low eight bits are in port D, in port C, port B, port A. Let's copy that. Uh, here's kind of a shortcut. I paste it into here and save that as count abcd.asm. I'll now go over here 
and delete this program. Do right click, add file, count ABCD. Now this is the program I'm compiling. What this program does, it creates a local variable of memory. D is at memory location 0, C is at 1. There's 4K of RAM on the processor. This just says where in RAM am I going to store these variables A, B, C, D. And the main loop, starting at 800, I'm going to clear, press A, B, C, D, that makes all ports output. I'll start my counters at 0, and everybody is binary. Here's the main loop. I'm going to increment port D, that's start counting on the 1s, and then check. If I got to 0, I will skip the next command and increment the 10th bit, the next digit. If that incremented to 0, counting 254, 255, 256 is equal to 0, it then skips and increments the next bit, and so on. If you didn't get to 0, such as counting 2, 3, 4, 5, I then jump out of here into this display routine. The display routine just moves whatever's in D to port D, C to port C, B to port B, A to port A, and then repeats. That gives you a 32-bit counter. To see how that works, hit F10, compile. Go over to hyperterminal and transfer the text file. Start out hex. This is actually count abcd.hex. It's the name of the assembly routine, not the name of the project. Notice the code got a little bit longer, and if you look at the processor, how it's running, uh, port D is still counting really, really fast. Port C is slower, port B even slower. This is counting in binary, uh, in powers of 2, so whatever this number is in binary is how high it's counted to. If you want to do something like, if you want count slower, I can throw in the wait loop. Go under kind of ABCD version 2. Version 2 shows how to do top down programming. The main routine just calls a couple of functions like initialize, count, display, repeats. This keeps the main loop a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to follow, and figure out what's going on. The initialize routine we're going to be using a lot. This just makes all the ports output. Here's A, B, C, D, and everybody binary. The count subroutine. Just increment your count like we had before. And returns. And then the display subroutine displays the numbers on port D, C, B, A. This is a little bit cleaner, probably a preferable way to write the code. Gives you a shot at figuring out what's going on. Slightly improved version is version 3. That's the same top-down programming except it throws in a wait loop. What the wait loop does is, here's the inner part of it, it just does a no-op, no-op, decrement, keep on looping. This burns one, two, three, four clocks, plus one for go-to burns five clocks. Uh, those five clocks are executed 255 times. What the decrement does is I start at 255, run through here, decrement, count zero from 255 to 254, 253, 252, when I finally get to zero, I skip out. So essentially this loop right here is executed 255 times. That's executed another 255 times. Copying that. Over here and saving it as Cut ABCD version 3. .asm. Delete this guy, add ABCD version 3, compile. This is a longer program. Download it. Send text file. OK. 
Got ABCD in version 3. Now, notice this is the same program as before, but it's counting much, much slower. And assembly, the nice thing about assembly is I can tell you exactly how long this is going to go high and low. If I count the number of instructions that are being executed in this loop, I can tell you how long the count is. If I want to make one second, I want to make this 10 million clocks. Presently, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 clocks inside this loop, times 255, times 255. If I modify this code, I can make that equal to 10 million and have it count once per second. That's being left as a homework assignment. One caveat, though, is again, make sure everything is in decimal. Otherwise, your counting is going to be way off. You check and make sure on that. Go under Project, Build Options, Project, and make sure you're on decimal. Uh, with that, you should be able to build a binary clock. Have it counting in seconds.